We did um, the great gig in the sky there, which we hadn't uh, done before on that tour. And we hadn't done, I mean, I hadn't done for years and years and years. Louise Marshall and our singers had put together an arrangement that was fantastic. And we couldn't wait to do it. And we had to stop ourselves giving it away early. And of course we did one of these days, which we hadn't been playing very much on the tour. And that's the only song, in fact, that we played with Pink Floyd back in 71 that we repeated again this time. You want the whole thing to start and finish and have a kind of a narrative. Now, you're not imposing a narrative on it that has a specific meaning, but you're having a narrative of moods that uh, run you from uh, the start to the finish. There are a number of songs which have got moments where there's a lot of improvisation. I get to do most of it, of course, but, um, you know, Chuck and Greg and uh, Joao Mello on the sax and, and Chester Kamen, of course, on the guitar. I'm kind of into perfection in a way, but I, uh, at the same time, I don't consider that playing the songs perfectly as on the record is my idea of perfection. Um, I want it to be live music. I want people who play with me to have um, some autonomy. I would rather that we go for something and enjoy actually playing and making music. Yeah.